Horrid Henry Rocks by Francesca Simon Boys, I have a very special treat for you, said Mum, beaming. Horrid Henry looked up from his Mutant Max comic. Perfect Peter looked up from his spelling homework. A treat? A special treat? A very special treat? Maybe Mum and Dad were finally appreciating him. Maybe they'd got tickets. Maybe they'd actually got tickets. Horrid Henry's heart leaped. Could it be possible that at last, at long last, he'd get to go to a Killer Boy Rat concert? We're going to the Daffy and her Dancing Daisies show, said Mum. I got the last four tickets. <gasps> Ooh, said Peter, clapping his hands. Yippee, I love Daffy. What? No, that wasn't a treat. That was torture. A treat would be a day at the Frosty Freeze ice cream factory. A treat would be no school. A treat would be all he could eat at Gobble and Go. I don't want to see that stupid Daffy, said Horrid Henry. I want to see the Killer Boy Rats. No way, said Mum. Ooh, I don't like the Killer Boy Rats, shuddered Peter. Too scary. Me neither, shuddered Mum. Too loud. Ugh, me neither, shuddered Dad. Too shouty. No, screamed Henry. But Henry, said Peter, everyone loves Daffy. Not me, snarled Henry. Perfect Peter waved a flyer. Daffy's going to be the greatest show ever. Read this. Daffy sings and dances her way across the stage and into your heart. Your chance to sing along to all your favourite Daisy songs. I'm a lazy Daisy, whoops a Daisy, and of course, ups a Daisy, crazy Daisy, prance and dance a Daisy, with special guest star Busy Lizzie. Ugh! Moody Margaret's parents were taking her to the Killer Boy Rats concert. Rude Ralph was going to the Killer Boy Rats concert. Even anxious Andrew was going and he didn't even like them. Stuck up Steve had been bragging for months that he was going and would be sitting in a special box. It was so unfair. No one was a bigger Rats fan than Horrid Henry. Henry had all their albums. Killer Boy Rats Attack Tack Tack. Killer Boy Rats Splat. Killer Boy Rats Manic Panic. It's not fair, screamed Horrid Henry. I want to see the killers. We have to see something that everyone in the family will like, said Mum. Peter's too young for the Killer Boy Rats, but we can all enjoy Daffy. Not me, screamed Henry. Ugh. Why did he have to have such a stupid diaper baby for a brother? Younger brothers should be banned. They just wrecked everything. When he was King Henry the Horrible, all younger brothers would be arrested and dumped in a volcano. In fact, why wait? Horrid Henry pounced. He was a fiery god scooping up a human sacrifice and hurling him into the volcano's molten depths. Ah! screamed Perfect Peter. Being horrid, Henry, shouted Mum. Leave your brother alone. I won't go to Daffy, yelled Henry, and you can't make me. Go to your room, said Dad. Horrid Henry paced up and down his bedroom, singing his favourite rat song at the top of his lung. I'm dead, you're dead, we're dead, get over it. Dead is great, dead's where it's at, cause Henry, be quiet, screamed Dad. Dad said if he was good, he could see the killer boys next time they were in town. Ha! The killer boy rats never put on concerts. Next time they did, he'd be old and hobbling and whacking Peter with his cane. He had to get a killer boy's ticket now. He just had to. But how? They'd been sold out for weeks. Maybe he could place an ad. Can you help? Deserving boy suffering from rare and terrible illness. His ears are falling off. Doctor has prescribed the Killer Boy Rat Cure. Only by hearing the rats live is there any hope. If you've got a ticket to the concert on Saturday, please send it to Henry now. If you don't, you know you'll be sorry. That might work. Or he could tell people that the concert was cursed and anyone who went would turn into a rat. Hmm. Somehow Henry didn't see Margaret falling for that. Too bad Peter didn't have a ticket, thought Henry sadly. He could tell him he'd turn into a killer and Peter would hand over the ticket instantly. And then suddenly, Horrid Henry had a brilliant, spectacular idea. 
There must be someone out there who was desperate for a Daffy ticket. In fact, there must be someone out there who would swap a killer's ticket for a Daffy one. It was certainly worth a try. Hey, Brian, I hear you've got a killer boy rat's ticket, said Horrid Henry at school the next day. So, said Brainy Brian. I've got a ticket to something much better, said Henry. What, said Brian, the killers are the best. Horrid Henry could barely force the grisly words out of his mouth. He twisted his lips into a smile. Daffy and her dancing daisies, said Horrid Henry. Brainy Brian stared at him. <laughs> Daffy and her dancing daisies, he spluttered. Yes, said Horrid Henry brightly. I've heard it's their best show ever. Great new songs. You'd love it. Want to swap? Brainy Brian stared at him as if he had a turnip instead of a head. You're trying to swap Daffy and her dancing daisies tickets for the killer boy rats, said Brian slowly. I'm doing you a favour. No one likes the killer boy rats any more, said Henry. I do, said Brian. Rats. How come you have a ticket for Daffy, said Brian. Isn't that a baby show? Uh, uh, it's not mine. I found it, said Horrid Henry quickly. Oops. Ha ha, Henry, I'm seeing the killers and you're not, Margaret taunted. Yeah, Henry, said Sour Susan. I heard, Margaret doubled over laughing, <laughs> I heard you were going to the Daffy Show. That's a big fat lie, said Henry hotly. I wouldn't be seen dead there. Horrid Henry looked around the auditorium at the sea of little baby nappy faces. There was Needy Neil clutching his mother's hand. There was Weepy William crying because he dropped his ice cream. There was Toddler Tom up past his bedtime. Oh no, there was Lisping Lily. Henry ducked. Phew, she hadn't seen him. Margaret would never stop teasing him if she ever found out. When he was king, Daffy and her dancing daisies would live in a dungeon with only rats for company. Anyone who so much as mentioned the name Daffy or even grew a daisy would be flushed down the toilet. There was a round of polite applause as Daffy and her dancing daisies pirouetted on stage. Horrid Henry slumped in his seat as far as he could slump and pulled his cap over his face. Thank goodness he'd come disguised and brought some earplugs. No one would ever know he'd been there. Tra la 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 la, trilled the daisies. Tra la 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 la, trilled the audience. Oh, the torture, groaned Horrid Henry, as horrible song followed horrible song. Perfect Peter sang along. So did Mum and Dad. Ugh! And to think that tomorrow night the killer boy rats would be performing and he wouldn't be there. It was so unfair. Then Daffy cartwheels to the front of the stage. One of the daisies stood beside her holding a giant hat. And now the moment all you Daffy Daisy fans have been waiting for, squealed Daffy. It's the Lucky Ducky Daisy Draw. When we call up on stage an oh so lucky audience member to lead us in the Whoops a Daisy sing along song. Who's it going to be? squealed Peter. Mum squeezed his arm. Daffy fumbled in the hat and pulled out a ticket. And the lucky winner of our ticket raffle is Henry! Ticket 597! Ticket 597! Yes, Henry, you in row P, seat 10, come on up! Daffy needs you on stage! Horrid Henry was stuck to his seat in horror. It must be some other Henry. Never in his worst nightmares had he ever imagined. Henry, that's you! said perfect peter you're so lucky henry coming up henry shrieked daffy don't be shy on stage at the daffy show no no wait till moody margaret found out wait till anyone found out henry would never hear the end of it he wasn't moving pigs would fly before he budged henry squealed lisping lily behind him henry i want to give you a big kiss Henry! Horrid Henry leapt out of his seat. Lily, lisping Lily, that fiend in toddler's clothing would stop at nothing to get hold of him. Before Henry knew what had happened, ushers dressed as daisies had nabbed him and pushed him on stage. Horrid Henry blinked in the lights. Was anyone in the world as unlucky as he? All together now! Everyone get ready to ruffle their petals! 
Let's sing Tippy Toe Daisy Do. Let us sing a song for you, beamed Daffy. Henry, you start us off. Horrid Henry stared at the vast audience. Everyone was looking at him. Of course he didn't know any stupid Daisy songs. He always blocked his ears or ran from the room whenever Peter sang them. Whatever could the words be? Watch out, whoop de doo Daisy's doing a big poo. These poor stupid kids. If only they could hear some decent songs like... Granny on her crutches, push her off a chair, shove, 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 shove her down the stairs, shrieked horrid Henry. The audience was silent. Daffy looked stunned. Ah, uh, Henry, that's not tippy toe daisy do, whispered Daffy. Come on, everyone, join in with me, shouted horrid Henry, spinning around and twirling in his best killer rat's manner. I'm in my coffin, no time for coffin. When you're squished down dead, don't care if you're a goonie, don't care if you're a loony, don't care if you're a cartoony, I'll squish you, sang horrid Henry as loud as he could. Gonna be a rock star, and you ain't. Don't even... Two security guards ran on stage and grabbed horrid Henry. Killer boy rats forever! shrieked Henry as he was dragged off. Horrid Henry stared at the special delivery letter covered in skulls and crossbones. His hand shook. Hey, Henry, we saw a video of you singing our songs and getting yanked off stage. Way to go, killer boy. Here's a pair of tickets for our concert tonight and a backstage pass. See you there, the killer boy rats. Horrid Henry goggled at the tickets and the backstage pass. He couldn't move. He couldn't breathe. He was going to the Killer Boy Rats concert. He was actually going to the Killer Boy Rats concert. Life, thought Horrid Henry beaming, was sweet.